In this video, we will discuss about how to log messages in a log file. Currently, we are using print functions to print errors on screen, but we are not collecting errors in a log file. This method can be helpful for live apps or get some logs from users. To do this, we can use the log messages global function to print logs in a file. So let's use that function, which is log underscore message. And it requires two parameters. The first one will be the type of that log. So I'm using as error. I'll show you all types which are available, but currently I'm discussing about error. So the second parameter will be the error message, which will be stored in our file. So let's write like testing log message to store errors. Okay, so save this file. So if we run this function, show function, error log will not save inside the file. Let's try it. If I reload this space, and if I go inside the log directory, which is our, which is inside our root directory, then go inside the write table, then logs. And here are logs device so this is today's file so if i open this file and go to end of the file then there is no message which we have just printed to enable this we have to go inside the app directory then config directory and there will be a logger.php file and here the threshold is set to 3 and 3 means critical messages the, it will all, only save critical messages but we want to save some runtime errors we can use this not need immediate action but should be monitored so if we set our threshold to 4 then it will start saving our messages which is tagged as error so let's change 3 to 4 and save the file now reload the web page okay now go to that file and now open this in notepad and now we got our error and here is the time my current time zone is set to america slash chicago that's why it's not printing my current time and there is our message which is which is testing log underscore message to store errors so this is how we can store errors in log file and collect them from users. So if we want to store some other type of errors like debug errors, info errors, then we can set our threshold according to their type. Now let's talk about different types which is supported by the log message function. These are debug info notice warning error critical alert and the last one is emergency these are available types for log messages and these will work according to their threshold so if i change message from error to debug and now if i sorry it's debug not the debug so if i save this file and reload our web page and now open the log file then our log is not saved because its threshold is set to store errors, not for the debug. So just to go to the logger file, 
and the debug is 8 so just set its value to 8 save the file now reload the web page now open the log file and now we have our debug message which is testing log underscore message to store debug now let's try to print debug and error together so i'm changing its, its message to new error now reload the web page and open the log file again and you'll see we have the debug message and our error message as well and you can play with this option in the logger.php file according to your need if you want to save all the messages then you can set the threshold to 9 and this will store all type of messages so this is the use of the log message function which is very helpful for production applications because we have access to logs and we can collect all the logs which are being generated while using our app and then we can find out error or any bug inside our application thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and share with your friends as well so i can create more valuable content for you follow us on other social media accounts as well links are in description of this video